All right, guys, so today I'm gonna to be pulling apart this Enphase microinverter. This is an IQ7 Plus microinverter uh, that uh, failed. It had, there was an electrical surge of some sort um, and this failed. This was one that Enphase wouldn't warranty because of the, the nature of the issue. Um, and so I'm gonna pull this apart because I'm really curious to see what's inside of it. So, so let's go out to the garage. I'll get this thing cut open and uh, we'll try to open it up and see what's in there. All right, so this plate was just held on with two screws and a little bit of adhesive. Cut that off. I got it all sliced up. I have no idea if this is going to work or not, but let's see. <laughs> Got some electronics there. All right, guys, finally got it open. Wow, that was a project. I recommend wearing gloves. I did not. Anyway, so plastic lids off, and you can see it's pretty well potted in there. Um, this is, let me poke it with a screwdriver. So it's, it's not a very hard potting material though. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna try to pull this off here. Yeah, it's really sticky. guys so I'm just digging around on this side right here this little piece fell right off and let me get that in frame there it's burned inside and then right here that's where that came off of you can see that's pretty toasted another thing I noticed is this guy right here is completely burned so this looks like it popped here. Um, I believe these are some sort of capacitors or uh, varistors possibly. I don't know, I'm not an electronics expert here, but when I see burned stuff on a board, well, there's your problem. So, very cool. Something definitely got toasty in here. All right, guys. Well, I think that's about as far as I'm going to go there. Um, I'm I'm really uh, impressed at the quality in here. Uh, I'm not impressed that it blew up, obviously, but, you know, stuff happens. Um, so if you're looking at the, uh, the board, this is the DC side. This is the AC side, as far as I can tell. The AC side had a surge, and that was uh, what Enphase diagnosed it as. And I would say they're right based on these components being blown up over here. Um, so, you know, obviously not an easy thing to get into. Uh, the entire thing is potted, um, with this just, just terrible potting. I mean, it's, it's great. Uh, <laughs> it's just really sticky and I would assume it's got some sort of, um, you know, thermal properties as well, uh, to help cool the components. Um, you know, there's really, there's zero airspace inside of here. Um, you know, that's why they're, you know, you could sink these underwater and, uh, and they would still hold up just fine. Um, so anyway, there it is. Thanks for watching. I've always wondered what's inside of these. So now we know, uh, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up and, uh, subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.